Hi and welcome back to another video from Ollie's Exotics. In today's video I'm going to be doing a pet store tour from the shop I work in, Southern Aquatics and Pets. It's one of the largest pet shops in the south of England and today we're going to have a special guest speaker, Wesley Norton, one of the owners of this shop. Hello guys, just uh, welcome you to Southern Aquatics today. Going to do a really quick shop tour for you. Um, just show you some of the things that you notice when you come in Southern Aquatics. First thing you notice when you come in is our lovely rainbow fish display tank. Um, the rainbows, we've had this tank running for just over a year now. As you can see, it's really hard aquascaped with Ballasinaria, Elodia and some Anubias and some lovely, lovely mature rainbow fish and some Acaras. A couple of albino rainbow sharks and some nice Corydoras catfish. Um, we tend to feed most of the fish here on Tetra Pro Crisps and a mixture of fish science, fish pellets and fish science flake foods. The fish do really, really well on this and it's really, really highly acceptable to nearly every species of fish we keep here. Um, we move on and we've got a lovely fancy goldfish tank here with lots and lots of fancy goldfish. These come in um, from one of our suppliers. We import these direct from Java. We've um, been dealing with this supplier for probably 10 years now. Um, fantastic grade of fancy goldfish, really, really good quality. Lots of variety in colours. Um, and then we move on to our live bearer section. This is what you see when you first come into the store. So we firstly have our platies. We do mix a few other fish in with our, with our live bearers because they species that don't traditionally do well on big systems. Um, at the moment we've got some nice captive bred angel fish in. These were locally bred by one of our customers. Um, he moved on to, to keep us some Malawis now. Um, but as you can see, the food that we feed is really, really highly acceptable to all of these fish. We have around about 10 different types of platies in at any one time. They're all the same fish, just different colour variants. And what you might notice is a few different oddballs in amongst these. So we've got some flying foxes, various gobies, some crabs. Um, and these all do really, really well on this little system. So this is a little tiny circulatory system. So basically every tank's connected to one big filtration system. Then we move on and we've got sword tails, again around 10 different colours. And we mix various other fish in with these. So we mix in some more flying foxes. Some just nice peaceful cichlids, or some Elliot cichlids, a few gobies mixing amongst these. And what you will notice is we decorate these tanks with plants on wood. These plants on wood, really, really popular sellers. We sell these for $10.99 um, for the larger bits, $9.99 for smaller bits. Um, and really, really popular if you just want to aquascope your tank. Um, then we move on to our mollies, again around 10 different colours. We have some larger mollies here, some big self in mollies. And we mix a few of the bigger shrimps in with these, so some of the mountain shrimps, some armoured shrimps, and they do really, really well on this system. Um, balloon mollies are a firm favourite of the shop. Um, lots and lots of colour in there, really lovely, hardy aquarium fish. And then we've got our really big, hard aquascapes, easy to keep plants in our big five foot tank here. This is filled up, you'd never believe that there's 300 fish in here. There's nearly 200 lamp eyes and 100 blue-eyed rainbow fish, along with lots and lots of shrimps. Um, really easy to keep plants. We just feed this, this tank with just a liquid fertilizer every day, and then it has liquid carbon dioxide a couple of times a week as well. There's also in here a shoal of 50 pygmy corridorus. Um, trying to find them sometimes that you see them in a big shoal. Other times you just don't see them, but you see the odd shrimps. Um, there's a few of the little pygmy corridorus just sat here. I've just put a little bit of food and they'll all come out a little bit, but this is a firm favourite amongst our customers, this tank. People will spend ages watching this tank. Um, and then we move on. We also have lots of little Cardinia and Neo Cardinia shrimps, all different colours. Red rillies, some yellows, blues, um, some locally bred cherry shrimps as well. Lots of our customers breed cherry shrimps. Um, we tend to get most of our fish in from a couple of wholesalers. So we've got some really special little corridors here, Corridors Barbatus and some tiny Cynodontis petrocolas. These are bred at the wholesalers um, in the UK now. Um, and then we move on, we've got some elephant nose fish here and some locally bred again, um, golden severums. These guys do really, really well. And again, this is a uh, small circulatory system, but the fish in here are kept in soft water. So we pretty much keep our own water pumping into this all the time. It just drips in um, and it keeps the fish really, really healthy. We mix a little bit of tap water with this system. so. Just slightly softer water fish like Geophagus that you can see, and the more unusual Procolodus and the butterfly fish at the top. Um, butterfly fish are quite a predatory fish, really, really popular, um, but they, we do sell an awful lot of these butterfly fish. 
Um, and then we move on to our main system. Our main system is our biggest system, and we tend to keep all of the hardy fish in this system. So you start off with your Danios, your catfish, basic tetras, um, all of the kind of popular community fish that we keep, um, some really nice favourites, neon tetras, glow light tetras. And if you look amongst the tanks, we do have some really unusual tetras. The things like black tail tetras, we've only had these in. This is our very first batch of these fish. Um, they came in from Singapore a couple of weeks ago, but really have taken well to system. some really, really popular fish. Um, and then we move on to some of the sort of lesser known tetras like ember tetras, bentosi tetras. And we mix in catfish, loaches in amongst these. One of our most popular algae eating fish that we do is a clown plec. These only reach four inches or so, but a really hardy little plec. Um, and next to these are otter sinkers, which are wonderful for planted tanks. So if you've got a nice planted tank and you want something to eat the algae or a smaller tank, a little nano tank, Ottos only reach an inch or so, cracking little fish for community tanks. There's also some more unusual fish to be found on this system. So if I just disturb these little guys, little reed fish and moray eels, really, really popular. You can never believe there was all of those in one little tank. But again, really popular. For, if you've got a bigger tank and you've got some bigger fish at like Garamis and rainbow fish, some of the bigger sickness, you can keep those in with those. Um, another wonderful little fish is so we've got some Phoenix Tetras in. Again, it's the first time we've had these in. Really lovely little fish. We're just quarantining these at the moment. And then you've got some bigger barbs, so some nice rosy barbs. Always a popular fish. Great in temperate tanks. If you've got something like a goldfish tank that you don't want to keep goldfish in or cold water tank, you can keep these rosy barbs. They're just wonderful. We do get some real specimen fish in sometimes, so big gold barbs. Just more unusual, really, really lovely. We're lucky that we've been dealing with our suppliers for so long that we've got kind of really good choice of fish that we can take from them. Um, we do get fish come back from customers sometimes. So one of our guys, a local landscaper, he took um, a big shoal of frontosas when they were smaller. He's grown them up. He's now got a breeding pair. And we were lucky enough that he decided to bring those big frontosas back to us. Um, not a cheap fish, hundreds to 150 pounds, depending on the size and color, but really wonderful looking fish. Then we move on and we've got our garamis and bigger barbs. Um, some of these fish will get a large size, so things like silver sharks will get to a foot long, but you know, people have these big tanks and they can keep those in. Beautiful koi angels, which are locally bred at one of our wholesalers. And some of the garamis, we import these direct from Singapore. Um, lots of dwarf garamis, smaller rainbow fish. Um, absolutely lovely, lovely community fish, all nice and hardy. Then you move on to some of the bigger barbs, the tinfoil barbs, <clears throat> some of the bigger cichlids, acaras. Um, we've got some Nicaraguans and some fire mouse, some African cichlids. And we've got some red shouldered severums, some bigger Congo tetras. Flagfish, a wonderfully popular fish um, for community tanks, really peaceful, just like an angel fish. And then you've got some big tank buster fish, some big Oscars down here. We don't have so many of these, but there's plenty of people with, with a, who want a pet fish. And those just make the best pet fish. Some pike pike cichlids and some uh, golden uh, cich convict cichlids down there. And we've got my favourite, we've got some wonderful rainbow fish in here. My particular favourite, Parkinson's rainbow. Just a beautiful, beautiful fish. If you get a nice male, a couple of females, you couldn't ask for a more colourful fish. <clears throat> Things like neon dwarf rainbows. Again, a really, really popular fish that we have here. Um, if you want a real nice colourful tank, Malawi cichlids. Um, they've lost their popularity in the past couple of months, but that will come back again. People just need some bigger tanks over the winter. And we'll start selling Malawi cichlids again. Um, as you can see, we've got a really wonderful selection of plants. So plant delivery is always at the weekends. So when you come into the store in the middle of the week, there's not a huge selection of the plants we have because they sell all over the weekend. Um, but we do potted plants and we do bunch plants. Um, we do also do tropica plants, which are grown in a gel. Um, and those are really wonderful for planted tanks, totally pest free, really hardy plants. Um, the selection of ornaments here at Southern Aquatic. So if you want a hardscape tank, um, for your kids' tanks, for big Malawi tanks. We do these huge Ziggler rocks, really, really popular. And you could just have one or, one or two of these in a big tank, and those would make a nice centerpiece. Um, but yeah, everything you can see from tree men ornaments, like this lovely guy here, we very, very popular. This time of year, we use Halloween, we've got the skull range. And then we've always got your populars, like your broken ships. <clears throat> Another really popular range is a great. Graphite rocks, we sell thousands of these over the course of a year. We always seem to sell out of these. And we even do things like dragons, dinosaurs, 
huge, huge section of ornaments and they're a great big selection if you don't want to go for live plants, if you want a nice bit of colour in your aquarium, plastic plants, huge amazing range of these things now and we do some really nice realistic looking, looking plants now. Um, then we move on to the nice hardscaping, really popular at the moment with accurists is that you've got lots of different types of rocks, lots of different types of woods. I like to think we've got one of the largest selections of woods and rocks anywhere. Um, not only have we got what we see here, but there's a lot in, in our outside area as well. So we've got a big garden area, which I'll show you another day. Then we've got our plant foods, CO2 units, carbon dioxide, plant fertilizers, soils. Really, really popular. We sell out of this stuff every week or so. Um, then we move on to our aquarium section. So our most popular aquarium is probably at the moment the Aqua One Oak Styles. Um, we have every colour of these. We've always got new, they're always changing the colours of these. So the newest colour in is the concrete um, and then this darker wood here. Um, I think we're up there with the top sellers in the country on these now. I think we've done over a thousand of these in the past three years now. Um, really, really popular aquariums. They come with their filtration, the heating, the lighting. Never, ever get a problem with these tanks. They come flat packed, but they're just wonderful. Um, and then we move on to some more Aqua One tanks, the Horizon tanks. Nice basic budget range, tanking cabinets. Uh, for under £400 for a four foot tank, you know, you, for your money, you couldn't go wrong with those. Um, something new in, we've just had in this week. It's not up everyone's street, but we sell lots. Um, the Hagen Glow tanks, really, really popular, especially for kids on Halloween with Christmas coming up. Lots and lots of choice with those. Um, we have had a new range of tanks come in the last couple of weeks as well. There was a Skyline. Um, our plan with this is we're going to have um, George Farmer come down. He's a famous aquarist, uh, aquascaper. He's going to come and, um, along with a couple of staff, he's going to come and aquascape these tanks for us in January. I'll issue some details about it later on, but we'll do a ticket only event for that. Um, so if you are interested in aquascaping, you can come and watch that. That'll be quite interesting for us. Um, and then we've also we've just taken on the dual range as well. So Jewel is really, really popular around the country. Um, we've done this in our Cadnam store for many years. Really popular aquariums. Again, come with filter heater lighting. Every colour. They're an award-winning aquarium. Um, lots of different sizes and shapes with those. Um, we, we often have, if, you, if you're after a clearance tank, there's always something in here on clearance. So always ask us if you're after a bargain. Um, we sell lots of things like this. So we've come to an end of a line. And it's just the last two or three we have and we always sell those really cheap <clears throat> if you're after a smaller aquarium we do lots and lots of smaller aquariums so we deal with hagen a lot so their marina range is really really popular interpet aquaverses cracking tanks i mean 139 pound for 120 litre tank with a filter and a light really good value and um, j and k one of our local wholesalers they just come at the ciano range and we do the ciano 60 and the ciano 80 by far our most popular aquarium. I think we sold three of these today. Really, really popular. And then we move on to some of the smaller tanks. If you didn't like the glow tank, we do a normal little tiny 360 for beaters and minnows and things, little tiny temperance tank. Then you've got a huge range of small aquariums that are really, really popular here. Um, one thing I often forget in the store is we do a little tiny section of fishing bait. So if you're after a fishing bait, we've got lots of choice on that. And we, we do seem to sell an awful lot of fishing bait. Really, really popular. <clears throat> moving on marines marines is something we pulled out of really on the fish and the livestock side last year but we are looking at bringing that back so that's going to come back probably january february next year we're looking at doing a couple of systems for that so we will have fish and corals back in at some point but dry goods we've still got a good selection of dry goods got your salts all, all the medication you need skimmers pellet reactors things like we still do wave makers we've still got in stock then we've got an air pump section um, a huge range of air pumps um, and every airstone line, bubble curtains you could want. Lots and lots of different cleaners. Um, everything, glue, if you've, if you've got a leak on your aquarium, you want to glue some rocks together if you're aquascaping. Thermometers. Then we move on to our food. So with our food, we do our own brand of food, which um, Ed, who's our local marine biologist, he actually designed this food. It's been very, very popular. It is our cheapest food in store. We sell an awful lot of it. Um, it's cracking food, you can't really go wrong with it. It's a nice basic food. Then we move on to fish science. Probably the most popular food we sell in store now is fish science. Um, we only took this on about a year ago, um, but really popular, really acceptable to ne nearly all the fish that we have. Um, one of the favourites are these little tiny <coughs> tablets. They stick onto glass 
and the fish take half an hour or so to eat those, but it's just nice to see all your fish. Quite often on a Saturday, you'll find me feeding those to our fish just to show some interest. Then move on to Tetra, brand leader. Um, we do a huge section of Tetra. Um, Tetra Pro Crisps, along with the fish science, that's what we feed our fish on. Um, and really, that's probably the most acceptable food in the sort of general range you're going to find to fish, apart from things like frozen. That was really, even our things like our elephant nose will eat that. Um, then we move on to our gravel cleaners, big selection of those. <clears throat> One of our most popular products we sell um, in the store is Evolution Aquas Pure Aquarium. It's a wonderful product, this. When you're adding your fish, or you've done a clean, or you've done a filter clean, or a water change, always worth adding some Pure Aquarium. It adds loads and loads of live bacteria to the aquarium, breaks down lots of debris, keeps the bacteria levels nice and high in your tank, keeps water clarity really, really good. Then we move on to our heater section. Um, we do two sizes of heat, uh, two types of heaters. We do interpets always a popular i mean we've been selling these for 20 odd years now fantastic heater and then we do a beta range which is my local wholesaler um we do if you want a high-end heater or digital heater we do the th the fluval range um, we don't have so many of those but if you wanted a high-end really good heater you can go wrong with those filtration probably the most important thing in any aquarium really and we've got everything from your sponge filters which we sell again by the thousand then we do the interpet pf range really really popular filters fluval filters then we move on to our smart filters which i think ollie's done a video on last week these were designed by the old owner andrew um, who um, designed these probably 15 years or so ago now fantastic filter um, we've just taken on the cf range from interpet but these are hang-on filters really really popular um, fantastic then you've got your external range so we do beta, they come with UVs or without UVs. Um, then we do the fluval range. We've got the old style um, 306s left and they're on a clearance at the moment, £99. Can't go wrong with those. Then we've got the FX6s, FX4s, the new fluval externals. In my opinion, the best filters on the market. We never get problems with these. We're wonderful filters. You can mess around with the media as much as you like. Um, another really important thing, obviously, in store, we will test water for you free of charge when you want to buy some fish. But it's a really, really good idea and I can't emphasise this enough it's always worth having a test kit. Um, an NT Labs test kit is probably my favourite. It's got everything you need in there. Keep an eye on everything in there and just test the water, get used to testing it yourselves. We'll happily test it in store for you free of charge, but it's something you should really have at home. Um, then we move on it to aquarium treatments. Um, again, we do lots and lots of Hagen, Water Life, Interpet, Tetra range of treatments, but just to give you an idea of just how big the shop is really, we just do so many treatments. And then filter media, is another huge side of our business so uh, we, we sell so much media i mean we do everything you can imagine here we've got things you can kind of cut down for your own use things you can put in your own bags whatever you want to do with media really <clears throat> we've got it here um really popular at the moment are these value packs from hagen that they've just come up with for the fluval externals um selling really well especially online they're selling really really well um there is an offer at the moment on with the smart filters you get free media with those um, we are coming to the end of our line with this, so we'll have to order some more, but you get free media with those anyway. Um, lots and lots of different filter media. If you, even things if you want to cut your own down. So things like this, we sell thousands and thousands of these again. Just cut them down to fit your own filter. Um, really, really good products. Um, and then we're making a move over to the pond food area. So huge pond food selection. And this time of year, not many people are feeding masses and masses of food. It's fish are slowing down a little bit. Now it's gone colder. Um, so it's a really, really good idea to start moving on to your wheat germ food now. So we Tetra do a really good wheat germ food, which is really popular. We do do our own sticks as well, £29 a bag, cracking value on that. We sell loads and loads of that. We do do our own pond food as well now. And we've got our own wheat germ coming in, I think, the next month or so that'll be in. Um, but we've sold lots and lots of that. It was some really, really lovely food again that Ed's designed. Um, <coughs> I'll move on now to pond pumps and pond filters. I mean... It's only half of what we do out at the moment because it's slowing down again. Solar panel range has been really, really popular this year. Um, Pontec is Oaza, which Oaza are like kind of a premium leading brand. This is their economy range. This is great for your beginner's pond. We get so loads and loads. You never get any problems with it. Fountain pumps, filter pumps, pressure filters, gravity filters, absolutely wonderful. Um, and then we do our Laguna range as well. Again, really, really popular ranges. You've got your pond vac, so if you need to clean your pond vac, if you've got loads of leaves and debris left over from the summer, get yourself a pond vacuum. Learn to vacuum your pond. Really important, little and often with your pond vacuuming. 
Um, we have actually got in our own wheat jam food, which I didn't realise. So that's just come in stock, as this must have been this week. So we've got that, so cracking food again, Ed's designed that. Don't feed too much of this, it's a heavy pellet. There's lots and lots of food for your money. So great food, Nishikoi, always popular brand with us. Um, then I will move on to, we are with Fish Science, Pond Food as well. Really popular this summer, we haven't only really started doing that this year, but I feed that to our own pond fish here and they absolutely love it. What I really like about Fish Science is we get very little waste from this. So when you're putting it in your food, your filters don't seem to clog up anywhere near as much. So really, really good idea. Um, we've got clearance area here on the moment with a pond section. So um, all of these are the cheapest I've found these anywhere. So they're just a clearance line. We're not going to do these next year. Um, so the Interpet IQ pumps, really, really good pumps. Um, you can turn these up or down to maximum of whatever they say they do. And then you can turn it right down to zero, saving yourself some electricity. And then we've also got um, Aquamax premiums. We've got these on clearance just because we're going to be doing a different type of pump next year. So if you want to grab a bargain on a really good quality pump at the moment, you couldn't beat these on price. And they're, I think they're almost down the cost price, but really, really good products. Just one thing to mention that Blagden have brought in with this Interpet. <clears throat> on the Amphibious IQ pumps, if you want to buy one of these and you bring us in an old pump, which is equivalent size or something similar, we'll actually give you another £25 off these. So they're doing what they call a scrappage scheme. It's worked really well, actually, and we've, sold, we've done that quite a few times now. Um, move on to our reptile section. <clears throat> so we've got our reptile bug stuff. You keep the reptiles alive there. So it's really, really important with reptiles. When you're feeding your bugs, so you actually feed the bugs so they're gut loaded. So the bugs are actually valuable nutrition to your reptiles. It's, it's really, really important not to just feed them on the brand. You get them in, but feed them things like carrots, um, our friend John Courtney Smith has come up with a really wonderful food, insect fuel, um, which is wonderful to feed to your bugs before you feed them to your reptiles. Jelly pots, a wonderful product. We do these buy and get them free. Again, we sell them in their thousands. And it's just put a couple of pots in with your bugs. The bugs will last longer, hydrates them, feeds them at the same time. Um, <coughs> it's probably our most popular section here. So on the bugs, we do everything from wax worms, crickets, locusts, mealworms, fruit beetle larva, um, great for your big deities. Um, we don't sell many of these and we should sell so many more. Nutrition wise, for a bearded dragon, fruit beetle larva, absolutely wonderful for your bigger monitors, your bigger lizards. Um, we do snails, we do flies, fruit fly cultures, mealworms in three different sizes, Morio worms. Um, live food, we sell around about 1,500 tubs a week. We have a delivery twice a week. So we have a delivery on a Tuesday and delivery Friday. If it's bank holidays, it's always a day after. We get asked that question so much. We sell them in bulk as well. So bulk mealworms, bulk locusts, bulk crickets. So we've got those. If you've got a few animals, it's worth buying those. Then substrates. Substrates, we've got everything you can imagine. Um, we try not to get involved too much in advising with substrates because it's a really contentious subject. Um, but really, do your research on substrates. Feel free to ask us. We'll advise you where we can. Um, but all of it is as popular. Um, it, it, we sell huge bags of it um, and huge volumes of this stuff as well. Um, thermostats is something we've just taken a new range of thermostats. So the Hagen range or Exoterra, um, we've just been using one of those. I'll show you one in a moment. Um, but the 600 watt for 64.99, it's got two outlets. Um, it runs a fogger and it also runs a heat source. Probably the best thermostat I think I've seen for a long, long time. We do the um, old favourites, Haberstat, really, really popular. Um, can't go wrong with those. Then we move on to things at heat sources. So you've got your heat mats, light sources, thermostats, um, light bulbs. Um, that's that range there. Then we've got things like our tortoise tables and our vivariums. Um, as you can see, we've got a huge selection. So three sizes of tortoise tables. We can also get tortoise tables made to order. So <coughs> if you want something that's a special size, and vivariums as well, wooden vivariums, wooden tortoise tables, we can get made tortoise. If you want something bigger or smaller than we do, then that's our Exoterra. I think probably on prices, we hear a lot we're the best price in the country on Exoterra. So Exoterra vivs, always popular, always, always sell thousands of those. Um, and then we've got our wooden range of vivs as well. Oh, our little, be uh, little beetles, little mantises, always popular, stig insects, stag beetles. Again, we sell so many of these, can't keep enough in stock. Wooden vivariums. Um, a new range of vivariums has only come in this month, the Hagen Viv Exotic range. They've just get, got the three new sizes. So this is the giant, the bearded dragon, and the medium. So ideal for like leopard geckos, then the bearded dragon, blue tongue, skink, then the chameleon Viv, 
really popular so far. I mean, we, we sell out of these pretty much every week. Um, we, then we've got some frozen food. So for your fish, just give them a treat. Lots of frozen food in there. Um, again, we sell out. Deliveries every Friday, but over the weekend, we tend to sell out. Um, then we've got our reptile section on animals. Um, we've got royal python section. So an awful lot of royal pythons. There's every different morph you can imagine. If there's something you're after, just let us know. Um, we do everything up to, you know, big breeding females. Always really popular. Lots and lots of different types of corn snakes, garter snakes, um, all sorts there. And then we, we move on. We, really, these days, there's not so much rare stuff around that we do, but rankings, dragons, bearded dragons, Chinese water dragons, bosque monitors, leopard geckos. There's a really nice leopard gecko just out here at Ollie, a couple of adults. So if you want something rather than just having a baby, and there are, we always have adults in store. Um, harvest mice, a little popular little mammal. Somebody locally breeds these for us. Um, he has a big colony and we just take the babies as and when he clears them out. But really wonderful, as you can see, really curious little creature. Um, fantastic little creature those are. Um, and we've got some reptile food. Um, if you need your reptiles, you should always make sure with reptiles you're dusting calcium, vitamin D regularly through the week. Every animal's different, so you need to do your research or ask us um, for what we advise. Nutribowel is probably a favourite one that we use because it's got vitamin D and it's got calcium. Um, Vermex is a, another really important product to follow this just to worm your animals. So often you'll find um, if you get um, your beardy or your tortoise particularly, a worm count done, they often have high levels of pinworm, especially in captive animals. Um, that's really good at keeping those numbers down, so quite dangerous uh, for those animals. Um, if we move on, Ollie, to sort of some more reptiles here. So, um, chameleons are uh, hiding at the moment. Crested geckos, it's night time, they'll be out soon. More baby leopard geckos. And then we've got a tortoise fiv. I've turned the lights off a bit earlier, I probably shouldn't have done that. But um, you can see a few baby hermans, Ollie. This has been, since we've put this island in, so this is our animal island, and this is really was dedicated to our old owner, Andrew, who sadly passed away three years ago. But we put this island in in honour of him, really. So we've got our mammals and our tortoises in these open top cages, which just seems so popular. I mean, the, the modern way of keeping tortoises in tortoise tables, and these replicate that really, really well. Um, then we move on to some of our more unusual animals. We've got our big frilled dragon here. True Australian frill dragon. You don't see these very often. Um, one of my friends and guy used to work at Alex Moss bred these for us. Um, absolutely lovely, lovely creature. Um, and we've got a couple more bearded dragons. Um, and probably my favourite animal in the store we have at the moment is a wood turtle. Um, this has come from an old friend and a guy used to work here, Dave Green. Um, he's had him for many years and he's just moved him on to us now. So really, really happy little creature. But very, very clever creatures as well. Um, then we've got our insect section. So we've got our spiders um, and our scorpions, millipedes, centipedes, that kind of thing in here. Um, and Ollie with Ollie's Exotics has done a fantastic setup here. He's, what he's done is he kept a desert hair, hairy scorpion along with death feigning beetles. They live together absolutely fine in the wild. Um, and Ollie's done a really lovely little setup here just to show you can actually keep two different species together. Um, we also have a really lovely mammal section here guinea pigs, hamsters. Over the last few months during lockdown, it's been very, very hard to get any animals and we weren't selling any animals through lockdown. Um, so we know there's been shortages on those, but it is getting better now. So hamsters and things, gerbils, daegus, they're all coming back in the stock now. Um, a, new, a new company we've just taken on in store, Gigantera. Um, lots and lots of wonderful ornaments. They'll be doing foggers soon. Um, vivariums will be coming in from there soon. But I am so impressed with their range of ornaments. They've been absolutely wonderful. And if you look at this great big T-Rex fossil skull skeleton thing, absolutely wonderful. And they're, they're, some of their ornaments are just the best I've seen. Wonderful plants. Um, again, lots of our aquascaping bits you can use for reptiles as well. People forget this, but um, James, one of the other owners today, has been using some different spider wood, um, some rock, some big, big chunks of garden rock just to decorate the Aki monitor's enclosure. So he's just going to bed now. He's just going to, about to go into his water bowl at Ollie. Um, we've got a green tree python coming in next week. So that'll be going in there. Again, lots of um, reptile ornaments we do from Hagen Exoterra range. Lots of reptile scaping bits. <clears throat> you can see we've got a huge section of all this sort of stuff. Really, really popular. Um, 
as our little dog, our little shop dog, Marley. Uh, Marley's been, been with me nearly 15 years now. Um, and he's an old boy and he just comes to work me every day. And he's lucky enough to get a wander around the shop at the end of every day, clear up any snacks that anybody's dropped for him. Um, but he's a lovely little fellow. He knows the shop inside out. Um, then we move on to our dog section. So we start off, we've got dog coats, every size of dog coat you can imagine. Um, new range of beds in, really, really important this. So ethical beds. These are made out of old um, plastic bottles that have been found um, on beaches and things, made again by Hagen, um, by their Doggett range. Really, really lovely products, 29.99 for these. Fantastic value for money. Really, really nice that we're doing some ethical products now. Um, we do cushions. A lot of, lot of dogs seem to like cushions. I've got a Border Terrier and he, will lo he loves sitting on his cushion. He doesn't want a dog bed, he'd rather have a cushion. So if you've not tried that before, that's always worth having a look at. Um, I'll move on to a carry on with dogs for now. Um, so we've got different whole teeth of training leads, muzzles, all different treatments for dogs. Um, there's a few cat scratching posts, flea treatment, shampoos. Um, as some of you know, we've put a groomers just in Southern Aquatics the last few months. Really, really popular. Um, so if you want your dog groomed or anything, give us a shout on that one as well. Um, lots of different treatments for dogs, poo bags, ethical poo bags that break down, really, really popular product. Um, keep, you should always have those in your pocket. Um, lots of different shampoos again, different treatments. Then we've got our raw foods, dog oil. So with our raw food, again, we have two deliveries a week. We have a delivery on Monday and a delivery on Thursday. This sells out twice a week. So tomorrow's delivery day, and as you can see, this was filled up on Monday. It's empty already. Um, everything you need. And Nature's Menu, we love Nature's Menu. We've been dealing with them for many, many years and really, really good food. So just make sure you've done your research on raw feeding. It's a, you've got to get it right. You've got to make sure you're feeding your offal in your bone as well as your five or five meats as a minimum. Nature's Menu do do complete foods as well. Um, Country Hunter range. So if you can't be bothered to do all of the hard work, use Country Hunter. Again, really popular, especially with puppies. Really good way to start raw feeding that one. Um, and then move on once you've learned <coughs> various treats we do. I love my treat aisle. Um, we have all different treats. So everything from venison ears, rabbit, um, deer ears, lamb ears, rabbit ears. We do a huge range of raw treats. We don't do any, any nasty um, raw hide anymore at all. We've discontinued all of that. Um, really not a very nice treat at all. Things are Edgar Cooper treats, 90% meat, wonderful, wonderful treats. Um, Treats are really important when you're training your dogs. Treats need to be high value. They need to be good quality for your dog. So things like chicken feet, great for keeping your dog, dog occupied for you know five or 10 minutes. Um, <coughs> really, really good product. Um, lots and lots of biscuits. Um, we do pig's ears. We sell thousands and thousands of pig's ears. Um, Armitage treats, again, really, really popular. So things like tripe sticks. Um, had a lady in early today. Her dog wasn't eating very well, so I suggested to her just start off with some duck fillets. Things like it's really nice, natural treats. Dogs absolutely adore these, don't they, Marley? Um, and this is, I know for a fact, is Marley's favourite treat um, that he gets at home regularly, don't you? And it's one of his favourite treats. Marley's not really a treat dog, but Marley would always, always, always eat a duck fillet. No matter how long it takes him, probably taking 10 minutes to eat that. Um, and I'll find him in a moment. Um, <coughs> we do deer antlers, really, really good for cleaning your dog's teeth. But keep an eye on your dog when you're giving them this sort of stuff. Don't ever leave your dog alone with treats like this. Really, really important. Nature's menu treats, really, really lovely little treat. 95% meat, high value treats. Really important when you're training your dog. You don't want to give it too many treats. Um, otherwise you just end up with a fat dog and a dog that only does things for treats. But actually you want the dog to listen to what you're saying. So something like that's really, really important. Sprats are really important for coat. Um, so we sell lots and lots of those. Something a bit more unusual, things like these horrible big cow, cow ears or hairs, but wonderful treats for dogs. Help to worm dogs um, with the hair when it comes out, take some things. Um, whole beef tails. If you want to keep your dog occupied for uh, 10, 15 minutes, now that's a really wonderful treat to give it. Dog toys. Okay, so Southern Aquatics has, I think, the biggest selection of dog toys in the country. We have got 2,000 different lines of dog treat of dog toys so we've got those we've got these um, ignore the brushes for now Ollie um, and we've got different treats again lovely ethical ethical dog toys resplute brand new in so these are again made of the plastic bottles 
Um, all different endangered animals. So you've got things like your black-footed ferret, which is that one, my personal favorite. I didn't know there was even a black-footed ferret till these came in. Different fish, rhinos. This one is a sawfish, I believe, and absolutely wonderful. So a collector, I think, I think, and they, they support the WWF. So some of the money that we sell from those goes to the WWF, but I think a collector's item, rather than giving them to your dogs, I think you should collect those. Um, Kong range, always really, really, really popular. Um, loads and loads of fluffy toys, rope toys, or non-destructible toys. We have a huge range of toys and it's always changing. Um, so <coughs> we try never to buy the same toy more than two or three times. Um, really, really popular. Got a little home grooming section here. So if you need to groom your dog, um, we've got little, little gift sets for those. And we do lots of different grooming brushes and stuff. You can always speak to GR, local groomer who works here. Um, dog leads and collars, as you can see, a huge selection of those again. Um, my personal favourite, the Eco ones, again, made from those plastic bottles. But these come with a lifetime guarantee. So they're not cheap, but they come with a lifetime guarantee, a lifetime guarantee of the dog. So really, really popular. Um, and then we have training devices. So things like Mighty Mutts. These are brilliant, non-destructible. Um, you fill these with things like Dairyly, liver pate, peanut butter, safe peanut butter, dog safe peanut butter. Um, you can stick those in the freezer. They float. Dogs, dogs love these they last for years i've got a couple for my staffy and they're absolutely wonderful treats um toys sorry then we move on to our rodent section we've always got things like hay straw sawdust again we sell that by the thousands by the pallet loads all different treats and food for your rodents so your rabbit food guinea pig food daegu chinchilla ferret food lots and lots of treats for those as well harnesses just behind you ollie um i love my favorite pet safe harnesses really really lovely harnesses um they work really, really well. Dogs can't, really can't get out of these. Um, they've got a nice carry handle, so if your dog's being a real pain, you can carry them. If your dog's not very well, you can carry them along with those. Um, lovely cage section. <coughs> As you can see, huge section of cages for mice, hamsters, guinea pigs, rabbits, birds, all different cages. And again, the cage section's always changing. Our little sweet, sweet shop for dog toys, biscuit bakery, as they call it. Again, people, look, we sell loads and loads of this stuff. Um, really, really good. Um, big bulk food of bird food. So, Wills Bridge, we've done this for 25 years. Wonderful food. We sell it loose as well. So, if you don't want to buy a great big bag, you can buy it loose. Um, our uh, bird section. So, we've got lots and lots of different birds, toys, and treats. All done here. Hand rearing formula. Um, birds are, these days are not as popular as they were, but. We still sell a fair few bit of this. It's just a shame that there's not more suppliers that supply this sort of stuff. Um, and then we come onto our wild bird section. Um, really, really popular in the shop, especially at the moment when your wild birds really do need the extra help. So fat balls, really important guys. Buy these without nets. The birds get trapped in nets. So always buy fat balls with no nets on. Um, mealworms, really, really popular. Um, there's an offer on coming on these soon. So they'll be two for 30. They're normally 19.99 each, but two for 30, they'll be soon. Sunflower hearts, a firm favourite. Really important to get good quality sunflower heart. Again, more fat balls. A nice seed mix. So when you're buying your seed mix, try to buy a no mess seed mix. Otherwise, you end up just feeding just your pigeons and your sparrows when really you're like spending a little bit more money on a no mess seed mix. It's really, really important. Much, much better for the birds. And it will save you a lot of money as well because the food just gets wasted otherwise. Um, Henry Bell, we've just taken Henry Bell on in the last couple of months they put new fixtures in for us which was really really kind um, it's really really popular really good quality food really clean food it's been processed really well all human grade as well so I really like that stuff and they have lots of offers on so things like these fat balls good quality fat balls <coughs> you can get 50 fat balls for nine pounds buy one get one free in those really wonderful um, then we've got um, some of the old gardening stock we're still going to do a little bit gardening um, just nice food again Hedgehog food, locally, there's a couple of hedgehog rescues um, which people seem to donate this to and we sell loads and loads of hedgehog food. Sometimes we run out of it. Um, one other thing that we do do here is a little bit of garden product. So things like your garden bin liners, your weed control, lots of different tools, thermometers, we do brooms, we do spades. Um, so keep an eye on that. A lot, we don't sell much of this, but I don't think people really know that we do it. So we have it in our big greenhouse section and we have it down in the wild bird section. So. Um, I think there's just one last thing I just wanted to show you, Ollie. Um, it's just our little dog groomers that we've got here now. Um, so this is G. G, is Paige in there with you? Let's give us a little wave. Bit shy, camera shy. Um, grooming one of my friend's dogs there. 
um, Alaska. Um, just it's, we're always working late grooming dogs, but it's really, really lovely to see that. And you can see the dogs being groomed, which I think is really important for people. Um, and the dogs are always nice and relaxing. She always plays nice, relaxing music. As you can see, the candles on as well. Um, but really, really professional groomer, working really, really well. She works on her own, so there's only ever one dog in the groomer salon at a time. Um, sometimes if the dogs are good with other dogs, our little Border Terrier Charlie goes in there as well to meet the other dogs, just to have a little play around. But I know G always allows a little bit of extra time for grooms so that she can have a play with the dogs and relax the dogs. And we're lucky enough that we've got a garden area that they can have a nice walk around in as well. Um, and that's it, I will um, talk to you again at some point, no doubt. Thank you, Ollie, for inviting me to do this lovely talk today. Thank you very much.